okay hello everyone uh, the reason for uh, this uh, like uh, video is to uh, discuss mcq which is uh, sort of controversy right so i'll share my screen so this is mcq so adult patient presented with the class 21 incisor relationship on a class on a skeletal class one base the cephalometric analysis shows the upper incisors are up to blind by 1.5 degree right the object is 12 millimeter if the upper incisors are tipped to an angle of 100 degree means we are losing an inclination of 25 degree but is the most likely effect on over jet highly for this question they should have mentioned something like what this amount of space is also present and how much effect on the over jet will come but anyway only one parameter uh, have been provided that is the uh, inclination of the incisors and inclination of the incisors like what we have to change it by 25 degree right so I will go to the options later on. Right now, I will show you uh, some of the uh, th uh, things. Like, but first of all, the Christian article, 2000, right? It's uh, from the Royal uh, London Space Analysis, and it's part one, published in AGODO, right? This is article, published in AGODO 2000, and it's part one. So, coming to this article, I will go to the inclination change because only one parameter is given here. Right. So there are two components. I will try to explain these two components. First, I should go to the business. The two components are core jet and the inclination change. So if we think talk in terms of core jet, allow two millimeter of space to correct one millimeter of jet. Right? Because in this question, we're discussing about the over jet correction. The second is inclination change. Uh, only partially mentioned here, like a 10 degree in inclination, 0.5 millimeter speeds required. So this is partially true because in the original article, they mentioned it's the palatal root torque, not the uh, buccal root torque. So this is only true when you are giving a palatal root torque, suppose in case of class 2 2 cases. So coming to the question article again, it's mentioned that the incisors are propline and else it should show a simple tipping movement are appropriate, right? A five millimeter palatal movement of the incisor edges, because we are correcting the overjet, will take place with a lesser palatal movement of the contact points of the of about four millimeter because incisors are proclined here. So we're losing the inclination here. And the total space requirement would be eight millimeter rather than ten millimeter. So they haven't told us in this example that how much like what the inclination was lost or the incisors were upright, it, but they said that the space less space would be required. Right, rather than eight millimeter here, uh, sorry, ten millimeter here for five five millimeter overjet correction, it was four millimeter. So they explained it. In fact, the analysis would record a ten millimeter requirement for incisor rotation and a space gain of two millimeter for uprighting of procline incisor. Right. So that is basically the key. So the converse applies to the retrocline incisor. To explain this example further, because there is not much clarity here, I will go to another British book. Uh, I'll show you in the book later on, the cover of the book. So he explained this, the same thing he has written, and then he explained this by example. He said that changes in inclinations, I'm reading from here, have to be considered independently of incisor retraction, right? So this is important for your question. This can be demonstrated some demonstrated more simply with an example. Suppose proclined. Incisors need retraction of five millimeter to reduce an overjet of um, uh, to reduce an overjet retraction by five millimeter to reduce an overjet like what retraction of, uh, redu reduction of overjet by five millimeter right and that is intended to apply them by ten degree because in our case it's twenty five degree the analysis records is two separate events the retraction of the incisor edges is recorded as minus ten millimeter because it's five millimeter overjet, and that will take ten millimeter of space. And change in inclination is what is at two millimeter, right? Because it's ten degree. So it's the same rule that if you positive torque the incisor, you need two millimeter of space. If the incisor lose the torque, you gain two millimeter of space. Like what it's vice versa, and this makes sense. So I will come back to the question, and if I go to the question, yes. Now this is a question. So as I told you previously. This is now, we have to make a change of 25 degree and 100 degree. So it's a 25 degree change, right? So let's convert this 25 degree change into overjet. 
So we have read that for 25 degree, 10 degree change, like we're losing the inclination, 10 degrees equal to two millimeter. So for 20 degrees equal to four millimeter. For 25 degrees, equal to five millimeter. So we have five millimeter space. Now we have to convert this five millimeter space to over jet, right? So for over jet, we know that if we have five millimeter space, that will actually uh, uh, correct, that will correct an OJ of 2.5 millimeter, right? So we can correct an old jet of 2.5 millimeter. So our original old jet is something like 12 millimeter, right? So if we make this uh, calculation, 2.5 millimeter uh, uh, old jet, like what? So if I make a calculation for the old jet, I clean this one calculator. Uh, 12 divided by 0.5. Uh, so that roughly become uh, 4.8, right? This become one quarter, something like that. If it was four, it will become uh, like what? If we make four halves of 2.5, uh, that become 4.8. So it's even less than a quarter of OJ correction, right? So going back to this one, so like what, if I make four halves of 2.5, that will become roughly 10, right? So it's even less than a quarter. So the option C is more closer. So I can suppose that two millimeter overjet would be the normal overjet and I have to correct 10 millimeter overjet, that will become one quarter of the overjet. So something like that I have to suppose, right? And this option is the closest one. So. This option is wrong. The OJET correction would be reduced to zero. No, not possible, right? Even if you read the Royal London Space Analysis, the inclination changes are very small, right? They do not contribute a lot. And uh, one third, no. Reduced by half, no. And if I go to the Royal London Space Analysis again and read it for you for the inclination changes from the table, because some people are converting into the zero millimeter OJET, that is simply not possible. So inclination changes applies only to the maxillary incisor. Yes. Allow one millimeter space for five degrees affecting all four incisor appointment if only two teeth are affected. So this is something important. As the space implication of relatively small, right? The inclination and inclination scores are combined on the space planning form. So these space changes by inclination are relatively small. They cannot correct it, make it zero because people are saying zero, like what half of the jet. So that is simply not possible. So this is like what, what I've solved. I went for the option C here, right? And uh, I hope that would be beneficial for you people. Thanks a lot.